happy, happy Wednesday. It feels like it's Thursday. It also feels like it could be a Tuesday. So we're just kind of up in the air with everything. So as you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. <gasps> it's working! Yay! Our mics are working. The audio could be a little bit um, louder than normal on accident. A little accident. more sensitive. Raj. A little bit more sensitive. So you may want to turn your volume down. I'm not too sure um, exactly what is it is. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic Wednesday. Thanks for bearing with us. Um, Rachel put out this a little bit early so you guys could prep for it. So hey, everyone tuning in, um, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what crafty projects you're working on. Man, oh man, Rachel, this new collection. I know, it's, it's super cute. I can't wait to make some projects. And we also have some coming up this month and next month that incorporate last year's spring yes. collection and this year's Easter collection. Mm -mm -mm. So you guys will be able to see some fun ways that we twist those up and merge those together. So that's going to be fun. Rachel, you know the hack that I shared about, well, I mean, I've shared it in multiple ways, but you know the rounded surface transfer tape hack. Uh-huh, yeah. So that was featured in my shocking Cricut hack video that we posted yesterday. Right. It was also featured in your vinyl hack pro video, you probably should know. Okay. And one of our viewers commented, and it was so funny. She what was commented, it about like recycling the hacks or something? She said, didn't Rachel show the mug hat yesterday, hack yesterday? And I commented, yeah, I guess it doesn't make it that shocking. But can I still get credit since I taught her the hack? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Claire Hills, you're my favorite person of the day. Um, guys, we are so excited to get crafty. This is a must-have craft project that you guys are going to want to watch and see how we make. It is so adorable. We're using print and cut. We're getting these files for you. So we're going to teach you exactly how to make this project. And you're going to absolutely love, love, love this project. It's super easy. Um, on this right here, you can use iron-on or um, you're able to use regular vinyl. So it's going to be really good. I love it. And you're going to have so much fun making today's project. Everything you see on the table will be used. We're using some printable vinyl. We've got some black vinyl. Um, we're going to just have fun with that today. We're using one of these um, they're actually meant to be on like a table. So like for your wedding, we're going to use these in some really unique ways in today's video. Um, if you guys have not yet taken advantage of our 20% off National Craft Month sale, I've seen lots of people take advantage of it yesterday. So be sure to click that first link down below. Grab your membership if you haven't already. We are super excited for this new collection. If you had no idea we launched a new collection yesterday, head on over to the membership download your collection and have fun with it. So Rachel, you're going to want to have fun with that one, yeah. especially now that the weather's getting warmer. And oh, you're, it's we're 65 out of like, outside. Oh gosh, oh. We're out of like the Christmas, the winter slump. We're ready oh to gosh. get crafty and transform. Tanner has been working on a lot of home decor himself. So many. So and it's a great time to revamp. I mean, oh, I'm so excited to share with you guys my home office. We just got to kind of piece it together. We got to hang some stuff on the wall and build a few more things. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. So that's going to be great. But yeah, what's everyone got going on in the comments? Everybody is, uh, they're having a good day. You can see a lot of heart emojis. Everyone's saying hello. We've got people, I won't even try and name all the places we got people. We <laughs> that's have great. people hey, guys. from all over the place, which is amazing. I love it. People are saying they've, uh, they're trying out the collection. They've made um, some projects with their quill foil pen <gasps> The thing. foil quill. Where's ours yes. at? I need it. It's coming. I know. Coming. Where is it? We ordered yes. it during the summit on Sunday, which was so much fun. Yeah. So, yeah, I am so excited yes. to make today's project. And Jenny says this new collection is my fave. <gasps> Ooh, that's a big deal for someone to say it's their favorite out of all the collections, guys. Right. So if you haven't got to take advantage of it, please go and take advantage of that. You are going to love it. It's going to be so good. And I know I should have uh, bit my tongue because a lot of people are saying that they're sad because it's still super cold where they are. Uh -oh. But here, guys, uh -oh. like it's shorts weather. Like the sun is out. I've had the studio doors open all morning. Okay, Rachel got mad at me for wearing a jacket, but now that I look at her, she's in her cold clothes too. I'm my jacket. It's, it's the only way I can clip my mic on. Rachel's like, Tanner, it's warm. And I'm like, He's she's got like a what hat are you doing? On and, a, and a jean jacket. When you get up at 7 a.m., it's still not warm. Oh, I know. I get up at 6. I don't go outside. <laughs> you got me there. Oh, okay. Well, 
We're super excited. We're going to mix hand lettering today with printable iron on, or excuse me, printable vinyl to make this awesome project. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, so it's vinyl and printable vinyl. So we're yeah. going to teach you all a little bit about that. A little bit of everything. I was showing my attorney i was meeting with him today and he we, we hadn't met since like october so he's like what's new with the business what's new with this what's new with that and i got to show him our printable god he was asking for all the new membership perks did you love the god he loved the god he doesn't even his wife's a teacher um so she has a cricket but she's like oh my gosh we need to get her one and i was like of course um so he loves the cricket printable god even though he called it a cry cut a cry cut. Listen. It's like, oh, Listen, buddy. it's been called a bunch of things. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. So you can take advantage to get your printable guide um, over on the membership site. You have to be a member. Um, if you're a year member, you get access to our fonts. So hello, value. Um, so be sure to take advantage of the 20% off sale if you haven't already. Rachel's going to be dropping it in the comments a few times for you guys just to help you out if you don't want to have to open the description. So that's going to be really awesome. And we're just super excited to hang out and get crafty so let me jump over to my ipad and we're just gonna have so much fun getting crafty today people's trying to facetime me so i can't answer facetimes no, while we're live streaming no, no. so here we go here's the ipad um we are going to be able to download this collection and walk you straight through how to use this and guys if you did not already know you can print and cut on your iPad. Um, so I love that. Lots of people are not aware of it. So we are just going to walk you through that. So we're super, super excited. So yes, we're going to load the website. Um, if this ever happens to you, you just have to click sign in. And I just keep my login like saved to my um, to my account on my iOS app. And Which is like super, that. super good. Yeah, look, two buttons, my easy touch ID. Easy. Wonderful. You're into the site. You get to look at your digital cut files, your fonts. Thanks, Rachel, for dropping that link. Um, the courses. I mean, all of these are bonuses. And then you can look at the PDF. Let's see. I don't know if it's updated yet, but I sent out a little email yesterday to see if we could have that updated. So let's see if the team has updated it with the new I was collection. checking that thing today, but I didn't scroll all the way down, so I'm curious Well, to I'll be able too. to tell. Okay, we're still on only 30 pages, so um, it'll be more and updated probably by tomorrow. But yeah, the printable guide, the Cricut Maker's Gonna Learn printable guide. We have both of the Cricut and the Maker's Gonna Learn one. Um, so it's a great time to join the membership. But anyway, we are just going to click on this digital cut file dashboard, and we're going to download this new collection and get it in iZip. So this Easter collection, lots of people were commenting, saying that they were a little disappointed when they heard it was an Easter one. But once they seen all of our art, they were like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. So we are obsessed with it. And you know, you guys are going to love it too. Yeah, so, and that's just no one of those things what, how, you know, like the apparel collection, you might think it's just for apparel, so you might be a little disappointed. But we just named them like the the mass majority of what's in them. Yeah. But really the contents is so much more than just what the name is. So you've got to really get in there and dig around. Exactly. And, and it, they're all they're all so awesome. I mean, look, my bunny. Oh, I love this bunny. bunny. Now you can enjoy Tanner's bunnies too. God. <laughs> <laughs> that Rachel couldn't get over us talking about these bunnies. God, he cracked me up yesterday. I love my bunnies. So this is what we're going to use today. We're going to use... No, this isn't the flower we used. Where is the flower we used, Rach? Did we... Did she contour some of that out, Did maybe? we contour some of that out? I don't know. This is... Where did we grab this one from? Hmm. hmm. I am not too, too sure. Let's look. Was it? I'm having a moment. It's not from here. It's not from here. Um, I'm trying to see where oh, where our beautiful flowers came from. I have no idea. We could use this one. That's adorable. Um, but I think we'll use this one right here. But you could contour some of it out, which it looks like is what she did. Um, so we'll be able to do that if we want. So we'll do that today. But I think we may incorporate some of this greenery because on this project, it would really... Take it up a notch or two, yeah. am I right? Love, love the greenery. But that's too. that's a good uh, way that you know you can take even a PNG like this that's supposed to be print and cut and still make it how you want it. Oh, yeah. And still so we're gonna, take away. Yeah, we're going to be able to walk you through both of that. So we're going to use this one in addition to this beautiful flower. So super awesome. Let's go ahead and import that in. So you guys got to see us download it into iZip. 
iZip is the app we use. I'm sure there's some comments already being like, oh, Tanner, what app are you using? We're just using iZip. It's a great free app. As you can see on my screen, there are a few ads and things like that, but for the value you get with it, it's totally worth it. So enjoy that. And Michelle wants to know, can, uh, can she change the color of the bunny? So you're not really able to change the color without going into like Photoshop and changing things. Um, there's not like a way in the software. So like our green truck has to be a green truck, et cetera, with our bunny. So that's a great question though. Um, so we're gonna go over into Cricut Design Space and we're just gonna quickly upload these images in. So we're gonna click Browse Files. And since we're using the Easter collection, um, we can type in Easter and find the Easter collection and then we can open this up. Our print and cuts are PNG. So open this right here and we're going to select the PNG. I love all the PNGs we have in yes. this collection. They're gorgeous. Now this is a great time for some training with this. So first of all with our PNGs there's that white background. So all we need to do is first click that white background after we use the remove tool. And here's the thing. This right here you're probably like what's this? Watch. It lets you know where it's going to cut. So this is lets you know where it's go print. This lets you know what's actually going to be cut. So this looks really good if you want to take advantage of the greenery. There's going to be a few spaces like right like here that's going to be still attached and you can clean this up even more. Um, so like what we've done when we were uh, designing this project, we kind of took out some of this greenery and you can like take out as much or as le little as you want. You can use the eraser tool if you, oops, I, that was way too much. Um, you can make it a lot smaller and go in here and clean this up if you don't want greenery. And I think it was Dawn, if I remember correctly, from yesterday's live stream and she was very curious as to how to upload PNG. So this is an amazing tutorial oh, on exactly so how to easy, do that. so easy, so easy. But honestly guys, I don't want to take away from this greenery. So, I would rather make our quote smaller to incorporate Oh this, my gosh, to just to give you guys this. another another sample. So I've reverted this back to the original image and then all we're gonna do is take out that background and we're gonna leave all this here because I wanted to give you guys a few different variations and I think the greenery really makes this project. So another thing I love about this is you can see how awesome this is right here um, to be one image and with a few areas that will be removed. So that's not gonna be a big deal at all. Um, so you can just click next. And then this is where it's go if you need to redefine any paths. You just wanna look at this and make sure it's good to go. This is why we give you the PNG because it's a really high quality image. And then we're just go, you know, talk make sure you about do this. select the right one for print and cut. Please, yes, do not select a cut image because it would just cut that and you wouldn't get the print. So Easter flowers, that's what I'll name that. And it's a print and cut, so it's super, super adorable. We love it. Ta-da! And then we get to repeat that same process to just get our little um, file. So we can just grab that from the SVGs and you can scroll through here and find exactly which one you want. I know that one's right here. So we're just gonna name this one Happy because um, I love that, but you can be as descriptive as possible. We're going to select both of these and insert it into our project right here. Now, here is a tip. What I want to do is I want to take this circle. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Let's keep us on this one camera. Stick with me for today's training. This is not anything I even went over with Rachel, but I thought this would be fun, Rach. So stick with me too. Uh, I'm for it. Let's do <laughs> okay. it. Okay, so we're going to take this circle, and you know it's a 10-inch circle. So obviously a circle is 10 inches round. I love this when I'm designing new projects. So we know it's a 10 inch circle, right? That's what we're working with today. So we're gonna zoom it back in. What I'm going to do so we can get all the sizing exactly right is I'm gonna insert a shape. I'm gonna insert a circle. I'm gonna go to edit and I'm going to make this circle 10 by 10. So just like so, here is our circle which represents this right here. This is going to be represented by this circle, okay? So we're going to click Arrange, and we're going to click Send to Back, okay? So that's super awesome. Now we can click Layers, and we can change that color to be more of a gray. You know, I kind of like this, this little gray color tone right here. Um, and then what we get to do is we can resize this flower, 
and then start resizing the art so we really get to see what it kind of looks like. We can rotate the flowers a little bit. Aren't you loving this? Like this I is do. such a great this visual awesome. representation. This is like uh, how in Design Space you're able to like choose t-shirts and hats and things like that to pull into your canvas in order to size them on your project. But exactly. This is a much neater way to do it. And this is so easy because you take the 10 inch circle, you get to see it um, and bring it together. So, you know, we get to really quickly size these projects and not even have to worry about it. Yeah, you don't have to so, size them separately or no. make sure it's going to fit right. This is awesome, Tanner. Exactly. So we love, love, love that. So we know, you know, this right here is our hand lettered quote. This is 6.6 .6 by 5.2 and our print and cuts go be 5.5 .5 by 3.9. Now, if you want to be really particular like I am a lot of times, if we zoom in here, it lets you know that there's some white spaces on your print and cut. Now, you can go back and take those out but Rachel, we're using predominantly white wood. Right. If, so uh, if the people can go back and remember the um, <clears throat> living on the hedge, that little hedgehog guy oh, we yeah. did, we had to take extra time to make sure we got all those white spots out because we were putting it on a black chalkboard. Right. But just like Tanner said, if you're using it on something white, it's not really worth your time. Definitely, because it's going to be super simple and less things for us to weed, and we want to save as much time as possible. Um, so there we go. We've got this ready to go. You can size this maybe a little bit. Mm, I think that's the perfect size, honestly. Um, so we're going to be good to go with that size. Now what we can do is select that circle and just remove it. How easy is that? Are we blowing any minds today, Rachel? I think we are. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Um, let me see. Perfect. Um, such a smart idea. Yay. And then Claire wants to know why hey. PNG instead of SVG. That's a great question. So our print and cut images are such high quality. We want to give you guys the best print quality ever. Um, so we upload those in PNG. And if they were SVG, Cricut actually doesn't let us upload those high quality images. Um, so this is really, really great for you guys to use across all the boards of not only just Cricut. Um, there are a few extra steps with our print cuts, but it's totally fine. Just remove that background, things like that. Um, and you're good to go. So we love that for our print and cuts to be PNG. So that's a great question. And Esther says, how do you take out the white? Oh, so you may have just tuned in, but when you upload it, you just take out that background as we shared. So you can rewind and rewatch that if you'd like. So that's a great question. Um, but yeah, so what's everyone else asking? Any other questions nope. before we continue on? Nope, what a great love afternoon. Um, let me see. They started working on a project. Uh, Jamie said that she started working on a project with this collection last <gasps> night Yay! and she cannot wait to finish it. So many people are getting crafty with this collection. So guys, if you have not gotten to take advantage of this collection, I want to share with you guys exactly how to join the membership if you haven't got a membership. But if you have a membership, you know how head on over to your dashboard get some time to get crafty because this is our easter spring collection for 2018 and i want you to craft with my bunnies because they're just so adorable they need you to print them and cut them i heard people talk about wishing cricut printable vinyl was on sale this week um because they need it uh, especially with this collection so let me quickly take a break before we get into cutting and share with you guys exactly how to get a membership if you have been on that fence about it you guys need to take advantage of 20 percent off so please 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 take advantage of that and you're go enjoy it so so much so let me go over to my youtube channel and i'll share with you exactly how so you just want to click right here you can open this description and where the confetti is is where the party's happening so you can click that first link rachel's dropped it right here you can click it either place open that up and you're going to be able to take advantage of 20 percent off right now and instantly get access to our membership okay so you can just scroll through you can see we've already discounted this for you no coupon code necessary just that special secret link if you know you want a year membership click the blue button the blue buttons go give you access to the best value the best economical value all of our bonuses as rachel says we hold nothing back you get three e-courses that we love teaching you how to use your Cricut Maker, how to master design space, and how to build a business using your die cutting machine. So everyone will love that. In addition, you get hundreds and hundreds of dollars of value with our Makers Gonna Learn exclusive fonts, which are only available to your members. And we have lots of projects teaching you how to use those. And in addition to all of our membership tiers, get access to our monthly collection of cut files, our free commercial license, our monthly live streams, ad free and special prices for multiple courses. So you can continue scrolling down and see our different membership tiers 
for everyone's budget. Um, these are normally $19.99, this is normally $15.99, and $17.99. So really, with this year, you're getting three months free compared to being a monthly member for 12 months, and you're getting access to everything with this tier. So a great economical value, which we really appreciate. So um, you can just click that button right there. Head on over to PayPal, and if you don't have a PayPal account, you can press the gray button. But if you do have a PayPal account, just press that yellow button, quickly go through that process, and get your membership today. So that's a great, fun little um, way. If you guys have any questions about it, let us know. Rachel, are there any questions out there? Always. Yay! Yeah. So people want to know where our wood circle is from. <gasps> great question. We got it from our favorite place ever, Michael's. Yes, absolutely we did. And um, we're having some people commenting, Tanner, saying that print and cut or print then cut intimidates them and they haven't even <gasps> oh done a print no. and cut project yet. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, today's goal for everyone out there that could have any issue with print and cut is to overcome that fear. That's why we have these live videos here because we get to go over things that we just don't, we're not able to think about or do in a recorded video. So ask those questions. Let us, let your voice be heard here. We are going to walk you through exactly how to do that today. So there's no need to be intimidated. All you need, guys, is a, um, a inkjet printer, okay? Any inkjet printer that you have, if you already have one, let's master it before you go out and buy a new one. Um, an inkjet printer. You need some printable vinyl today. You can use stick, printable sticker paper. It's cheaper than printable vinyl, so feel free to use that. Um, and we're going to teach you how to do it. It's three pro, It's a three-step process. You've already seen us do the hard part, and that's import it into Cricut as a print and cut. And we'll teach you exactly you know what that means. And then we're going to walk you through every step. So watch like two days ago's video as well, Mondays. Um, because we did another print and cut, you could see us do an epic fail and then kind of save that project. And it was, I mean, it was print a and great, cut is easy. Yeah. It's easy to do, you're going to get, especially after your first time. Because oh, it is, it is a little daunting You're going to, think to get about. amazing results for mastering these three steps, okay? So I promise, stick with us, you're going to enjoy it. And our files have so many print and cuts in them that you can take advantage of. And you don't have to do print and cut. Someone actually asked me, Tanner, do you have files that aren't print and cut? And I'm like, girl, yeah, we have a majority that's not print and cut. Like out of our 800, 750 files that we're up to, probably 120 maybe print and cut. So we we sprinkle them out the collection so you're not overwhelmed. But these are great value to take advantage of. They're beautiful. We They're love gorgeous. We them. do love it. And we have uh, Liz or Liz, hey, Liz. saying, uh, thinking about becoming a member. How much space did these downloads take up on your computer slash tablet? Oh my gosh, that's a great question. They don't take up near much at all. You're able to download them on your tablet or computer and then you upload them to Cricut and then you can actually delete them from your actual computer because you don't have to keep them there. Um, so you can download them and work them on each collection. They're zipped files, so they're really compressed and low. So if you have any storage issues, no, have no fear. This is the lowest um, gigabyte iPad, and I haven't had any issues with it with all the fonts and the cut files. So great, consider, um, great question, and we would love to see you become a member. Let us know if you have any other questions. You can go over, take advantage of that 20% off, and find the membership tier right for you. If you know you want courses and you want to say yes to fonts as well, highly recommend that your membership because you can't get all that value anywhere else for that price. So great question. And we do have another great question, Yay! and it is from Miss Melissa. Hey, Melissa. And she says, can you print this and then cut it at a different time? No. Here is what I wish you could do. Um, you can't really do that because you, for me, when I print it and then I wanted to cut it later and I accidentally create a new project, I forgot what size. And it has to be literally to the yeah, millimeter. Yeah. So once you created a project, you want to see it through from print to cut. Um, but that's a great question. Yeah. So and I'm, even though your Cricut, uh, it, you know, it scans it yeah. and looks at it, it's still in the design space and then from your printer. It needs to be the exact same size. I think we've done that once or twice when we were just starting out. Yeah. And we would get super confused. We're we like, were. is this a cricket? What is this? But guys, let me tell you, it's usually user error. <laughs> definitely. It's definitely. not usually the machine. That's so true. So, okay. Are we ready to continue on? Are there any other questions? Uh, do I need to download, download the Zip app in order to get the files? That's a great question. If you are using an iOS device, 
Yes, if you are using your laptop, desktop at home, PC or Mac, no additional software is required for you guys to download our artwork extract it and then upload it into the software. If any of this feels dainting to you, there's individual video tutorials as soon as you become a member to walk you through every step so you don't have to be overwhelmed at all for both fonts and cut files. We give you everything from our printable guide to help you master using your Cricut to mastering the cut files because we're here to inspire you guys with a die cutting machine to use it more, to create more, and to live fuller and bolder lives. I mean, that's what we're here to do through crafting. So thanks for hanging out with us again for all of our friends. And uh, Taylor DeBoard says he misses you. Oh, Taylor, I miss you too. You know, I just seen you today, but hey. Just a couple hours just ago, Just a couple actually. hours ago. And then <laughs> MG says, I'm thinking of becoming a member. I'm only a few days into learning my cricket. What is the difference uh, between the, uh, the trial on Cricut website and you? That's a great question. So since you're a beginner to Cricut, you know, what we have to offer comes from a lot of different standpoints. Um, there's a Cricut membership that's called Cricut Access. You can get access to 70,000 pieces of artwork, but where our membership differs is that we're more of a community that provides a few things. I'll go over it real quick. You can get access to our hundreds and hundreds of cut files. You can get access to 80 plus fonts with even more fonts coming out in April um, with our year membership. Um, since you're a beginner, I'm going to totally say, say yes to a year because you're not going to find the value of $150 to $190 anywhere else. Um, and this is on a 20% off discount right now. So it's a huge value. You get grandfathered in, but you get fonts, you get files, you get a community of over 2,400 like-minded crafters to help you with all of your questions. Um, the year membership gives you the courses to teach you how to use the Maker, how to use the Explore, Cricut Design Space, um, and build a business with your die cutting machine if you ever feel so inclined. We give you a 20 page printable guide that you can save to your phone, tablet, print out at your home printer. I mean, Rachel, let's quickly show her. I mean, we give you a term glossary, which is a really big deal, so you understand all of the Cricut terms. You get all kinds of great cheat sheets for, look, we have a cheat sheet for print and cut. So if you guys are ever overwhelmed, I mean, we talk about the prep, the print, the cutting. When I say it's a three-step process, I'm not kidding you. It's really me and Rachel in your back pocket on your table. So we love that. Um, but yeah, so we love, love, love all of these. You get the temperature sheet charts. You get our favorite cutting mats for what material. You get, you know, to explain what blade to use for what material. Um, and then we give you even more design space terminology. And so even it's great that, for beginners. You know, we're really set up that year membership get, for the beginners. Yeah, and Sorry. even though all memberships, uh, no matter what tier you are, they do get the printable guides and things. Yes. If you're just starting out, I feel like it's almost more important to be a yearly member if you're a beginner because you want everything we have to offer, all of the teachings, all of the e-courses and stuff, especially when you're new because you don't want to be held back or you don't want to feel like you're That's missing so out on things that you could be learning. And yeah, know? the year membership is packed in for the beginners. So anyone that's, you know, a beginner, but also maybe someone that's a master cricketer, but they want that uh, build a business course. That's a great time to upgrade for that and fonts. Because remember, we have a free commercial use license for fonts and cut files. So you're going to be able to make back the money you invest very quickly. So anyway, hopefully that's enough talking about the membership. I'm sure there's some people watching like, come on, Get with it, Tanner. Yes, We're ready to craft. Yes. And I do have a question about the craft. Okay, and this is, is great. It's a great question. I love too. the question. So it's about the printer. Okay. So, and this is confusing, so this is a great um, a great time for you to explain it. So some people have their printers. How do you load printable vinyl <gasps> into your printer? That's a great question. Well, you want to do a test because there's two, in my printer, there's two trays. And, you and we never know which way it's coming okay. from. We, we never know. We don't. <laughs> but if you're using a top tray, if your tray is loading from the top, you will usually load it in just like you would want it. So the back will be t facing the wall, if you will. Um, you can't really tell. We're so overexposed. But the Cricut logo, the Cricut logo will be on the back here, and then it'll feed right through the printer like so. If you're using that top loading tray, but if you're using the one that shoots up and goes like this, you want to lay it down so when it shoots up, it's going to pull through this way. Now, one thing I love, love, love about 
the Canon TS8120, which is the printer we recommend. It's an under $100 printer. I'm not paid to say this. I just use it and I'm letting you guys know what I use. It works great until it stops working great it's when I'll stop using it. But it's the Canon TS8120. Write it down. Let us know. And we did have some um, comments saying that their printer is great, but Yay! they can't even afford the ink in it. So we so, just want yes. to tell you. The Canon's uh, ink is not expensive. It's very, um, I think, like industry standard. I, I think ink is pretty expensive in general, but, right, right. you know, it's pretty basic, like normal. So one thing about the Cricut printable vinyl that people's experiencing is that it's thicker than sticker paper and things like that. So feel free to test out other material, but I love being able to use this printable vinyl in the Canon TS8120 because it is a home printer. It handles it like a champ for it being a thicker material. I've taken this into like the UPS store and asked them to print some stuff for me at scale with this and their printer wasn't able to do it. So for me being able to use it at my home printer, it's fantastic. And so, yeah. how big can you make print and cut? Ooh, so this is a great question. We don't really know um, because we were testing it the other day and it was letting us print and cut some really big stuff. Like seven and a half. Like, yeah, like close to, to a full yeah, sheet. Yeah. So we're still going to have to test this and try to figure it out. Um, but yeah, let's jump into it and try to see if it'll let us maybe put two on one mat. So we're going to just press make it here. And you can see, you know, this right here. Let's, let's put two just to see if it'll fit it on one mat. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> so look right here, guys. Normally it would cut us off. Um, I don't know. If this would be 9.75. Okay, so no, it's not beating 9.75, but we are close to that seven inch mark. But I promise you, before a live stream the other day, me and Rachel was able to go all the way out to like 7.5 by like almost 10. So they, I think, changed it, but I can't figure out how and to show it to you all. So anyway, take my word for it, try it out, figure out if they redid that. I don't know. Um, but anyway, this is what it is when you have a print and cut. So notice with print and cut, I love to lead the bleed on because that's gonna help you with your Cricut later. And I'll explain that here in a minute, but just turn bleed on because you will appreciate it. So we're going to click print and we already know what printer it's going to. So we're gonna click print right there. You're gonna hear it printing over, over in our um, little printer. I wish I brought it on the table, but honestly me and Rachel, it's so much work it bringing is. it on the it, table. It's, it's work. It's like right here. So if I move the but cricket, it's not because it's they, heavy or can anything. Can they see here? It? I can make them see. Oh, it. oh gosh, Miss Rachel, move it over. Just yeah, move it it's over. not because it's heavy or anything. Here it is. Here it's it is. because the cord where you plug it into is like yeah. impossible to get to. Yeah, we love our Canon. So here it is. Look at this. We can move the camera back over. I'll walk with it. Oh, that's um, hilarious. <laughs> but we here is our awesome print. Um, we love this right here. And I mean, that was quick. This is a great print. Let's show them the print quality um, so they can really take it all in. So that's awesome. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and I'm actually going to cut this first. Or no, we'll actually, since print and cut takes a minute, we're going to go ahead and tell it to start cutting our quote. And maybe just to debunk yesterday's on if it was dry, we'll let this dry for a little longer yeah. too. Yeah. So that'll help everything too. Totally. So we're going to start cutting our beautiful, um, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. I'm saying beautiful and it's in the quote. Beautiful. Didn't mean that. Okay, we do have some questions. <laughs> we have some questions. How is everyone doing? I'm using regular vinyl for this. You could use iron-on, but it is textured, so we're just say, calling it safe to use vinyl. And we have a new blade, so we're not going to turn on more pressure, but we are going to use fast mode. So then we're going to press the flashing cricket button and Rachel is going to let us know what today's questions are. Uh, what does PG stand for and how is it different from JPEG? It's a portable something something image. Um, it's a better quality image I can tell you, but PNG and JPEG are very, very similar. Feel free to Google that because I am not um, a graphic designer, so I don't have to know that. I craft. So. And Chastity says... I know the first letter stands for portable. There you go. There we go. One, yeah, hey, Chastity, you got, you got how are we? She says, you said you cannot, you, know, you said PNGs cannot be edited, but can you edit if it is saved in a different format? Um, so it depends. If you had each layer assigned, each color layered assigned as a different layer. So let me grab a visual of this real quick. So right here, let's jump to the second camera. So right here is a multi-layer um vinyl project and this is our bicycle so for example if i wanted to in cricut 
make the black layer cut as a different color, I could totally do that. I could make the bike be pink. I could make the seat green. I could change all of these colors. And guess what, Rachel? Since this is a multi-layer image, if I didn't want to cut out all these layers because it seems like a lot of work, I could flatten this. I could flatten this image in design space and turn it into a print and cut image. Yeah. So now that I've said this out loud, maybe we should do the same process for our bunnies. To just see if it works. And all of our images to make them so we have more flexibility with the layering. Yeah. And then it'll all be SVG so that then they can decide, do I want it to be a multi-layer paper or vinyl project? Then they can flatten if they choose to make it print and cut. So this is a great talking out loud experience. Yeah. Um, now that I'm explaining to you guys how we've done these, that's not how we've done print and cut in the past, but maybe that's a great way to bring it to the team to um, share with them that we want that because I would love to be able to make a bunny a different color, just like we're talking about being able to do it with the bike. And uh, she knew? also says, uh, could, wait, no, where's she at? Where's she at? <laughs> what printable vinyl or printable, she said printable HTV. Okay. Right? Might, might be vinyl. Do you recommend and does it matter when it says light, dark, etc.? So she is talking about HTV. Yes, she is. Rachel and I are testing five different kinds of printable iron on. We'll have a whole comprehensive review for you very soon explaining dark, light, which brands work, which ones we don't recommend, which ones work better, which ones wash better, who has a better color because um, there's so many to test. But we recommend Cricut printable vinyl for projects like this, but then you'll need a printable iron on for t-shirts and things because you do have to have separate. Um, so that's a great question though. And let's see here, hang on. Hang on. Hey, everybody. We've got a lot at one time. Okay, Rachel's oh, Chastity handling says, it. says, how do you use fast mode? Oh, so that's a great question. You have to be at step three. You have to select your material, you must load your mat, and before pressing that flashing Cricut button, you have to manually turn on fast mode at step three in both your iOS app as well as your desktop. It is something that can slip your mind because I know me and Rachel, I'll show you a visual since we're about to change mats. Um, I know me and Rachel normally, you know, don't want to do that. So if you want to switch over to this second camera, um, I'm going to load it right here so we can just quickly lay this down and notice how dry it looks to the touch. Like I'm able to touch this, no big deal at all, which is great. So then keep on that second camera, watch what happens to the screen when we're since it's, it's going to be four steps since we printed it, they consider that a step. But normally if you're just using vinyl, there'll only be three because you didn't print it. So bear with me on that. But watch what happens once you load it. So I've loaded, and now it's going to go to the press go step. Make um, sure you switch to printable vinyl and not just I vinyl. will. But notice you have to be loaded in. Thank you, Rachel. Um, you have to be printed, uh, you have to be loaded to get fast mode on. So if it's off, it's going to look like this. All you have to do press that and it's the same for um, any of your devices. Sorry, you probably were going to do that anyways. So no, I totally would have forgot. I totally would have forgot. So we switched that to printable vinyl, regular pressure, turned fast mode on, and now we can press that flashing Cricut button. And while that is pressed, we are going to start weeding our project. And Rachel, just for the fun of today's show, I'm going, we're going to hate it. I know I'm going to hate gonna it. Say. I'm going to weed and share with you guys why we weed on the mat. So I'm first going to burnish my project. And Tanner, I didn't even think about this uh, for the supplies today. Would you like me to get the masking tape transfer tape instead of using this, or do you want to try this again? Do we have it in the room? Yeah, it's right there. Um, Let me get well, it for you. No, no, no. Let's try to use our Cricut because okay. that's what we know. Okay. But we may need to grab it. So that's great to know that we have it up here. I'm going to cut out this project this so is can already save. way more terrible this is way more what terrible look i know at this. look at me what trying in the to. world so guys if you're new here we preach weeding on the mat and you're about to see why because it's so much better it's like a second set of hands yeah like people that don't weed on the mat are crazy because look at me trying to hold this project like it's kind of insane I mean, you can kind of get in with it more, but I love being able to weed on the mat because now I'm having to use a second hand to like try to hold the project down when you don't, wouldn't have to because it would already be down on the mat. But here I go just weeding away. Woo! 
Oh no, I think I picked up a letter. Did I ruin the project already? Probably because you ain't waiting on the map. Oh no. Was there a letter right here? Yeah. 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 Oh, what was no. it? I don't know. <gasps> Road? There, oh, oh my gosh, I picked up. Um, not. <laughs> Look at this. I'm going to be able to fix it. Watch this. Oh, Tanner's going to do surgery. Look at what I did. This was reasons. Wow. Wow. So when people say, when I say vinyl's forgiving, look at how forgiving it really is. So we're going to lay this down. Okay. We're going to pretend we're not failures real quick. Oh, and while, uh, while you're doing surgery, uh, why are we using a regular pressure instead of more pressure as we usually do? Yeah, Rachel, you're going to have to answer these questions. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm in surgery. surgery. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. we, I think it was last week, one day last week, we got a fresh blade. And now let me tell you guys, fresh blades, they are fresh. Sharp, fresh. So if you do more pressure with a fresh blade, your cricket's going to give that more pressure like it normally does, and you're going to slice right through the back of your um, your transfer paper and everything. And that happens with iron-on and vinyl. It has happened to us when we put a fresh blade in and still uh, gave it more pressure. It only takes... Well, for us, and depending on how you craft, but for us, it only takes about a week until we have to switch back to more pressure. And that'll depend on how much cutting you're doing. Yeah, because we do uh, cut a lot during the week. We, we use our machine every day. So um, if you are just cutting a couple times a week, it'll probably take you like a month or more even if you're just cutting paper and things like that to get to need to use the more pressure. But all it does is it allows your blade, I feel like, to have extra life because you know you're cutting on that more pressure and it's still cutting just as well. But with a fresh blade in, you really don't want to don't want to give that more pressure. You could end up um, ruining your project, or even worse, I've had this happen several times this week actually because I just forget. I'll cut some vinyl and then already have it on the transfer paper, flip it over to try to peel the transfer um, paper backing up, and it's cut through. So I have to go in there and individually remove the backing from all of my little letters and it just it takes way more time than it needs to but Rachel but yeah. I'm not loving weeding without the mat I bet you're not oh no okay and then you may be getting overwhelmed when you're weeding this project too so definitely work in sections like notice how we're working in sections here today um, I hope did anyone notice how I saved the reasons yeah like there was only three letters and I, I laid I didn't it back know what down that word was supposed to be I didn't either I didn't either here's what it was I had to pick this piece up. I had to pick this piece up and then lay it back down and get a lot of the letters back out. So I'm just saying that was a really cool little visual. If anyone's ever been scared about weeding, um, that's hopefully your. Hopefully, we're giving you guys some confidence to not only like go out in your of your comfort zone, but also to give you confidence for when you also have a fail, how to save it because I think a lot of times they can be saved. They can. You just have to really take your time. Yeah. And, and go easy. That's true. Weed very slowly. And it's also better if you're not live like, streaming. Chit chatting. Yeah. Right. right. Chit chatting. Yeah. Oh, look at this, guys. It looks beautiful. Um, we love it. And then we can go in and get these other pieces. And these are the pieces that I hate to try to get without the mat. Because, like, me trying to, like, hold it, like, it's just so unnatural. So if you've never weeded on the mat, again, try it yeah, out. It's like an extra Give us set of review. hands. It, it helps so much. Yeah, give us a review of what it's like if you've never weeded on the mat before after you try it. And Chastity, how do you know when you need a fresh blade? That Ooh, is a great question. That is a great question. We're actually coming out with a video yeah. of a ton of tips that you all need to, or signs that you all need to look out for, for when you need a fresh blade. Because let me tell you, if you craft as much as we do, or you know you're working on a specific project then you really want to know you want success for every project so you really need to make sure that your cricket is performing at the top level it can so i mean things like you know if you're cutting paper projects and it's dragging the paper a little bit not cutting it as well yeah the or cricket should find, do wonderful on paper so yeah, that's a great definitely. indicator or if you find that your vinyl is not you know just you're having a really hard time weeding your vinyl that might be because you need to add a little more pressure or you need to change your blade if it yeah. gets really bad. No, I Just love things like that. I love more pressure because it lets you have that longer lasting blade. It does, definitely. It's like the cricket, it's like they knew that you would want to use your blade more. So they made that little that little feature uh 
to accommodate that, which is really, really nice, I think. Yeah, and it accommodates a lot of other reasons you need it to, but that's like one that probably didn't even think about. And Gita wants to know, do you recommend a light box for weeding? Um, depends. It depends on your situation. We have how many studio lots in here? A lot. We have one, two, three, four. We have five studio lots around us, as you may have seen, like a corner of one when we were showing the, uh, the printer. The light box really wouldn't help weeding this vinyl right here, but it would help with your glitter. And if you have not watched my uh, shocking Cricut Hacks video, if you want to see me actually shocked on camera, go watch that video because the tip about weeding glitter iron on and glitter vinyl with baby powder and how we did that is mind blowing um, and it actually works. So baby powder is a lot cheaper than having to buy a light box or a bright pad. Um, so yeah, but if you have a dark craft space and you know your space is dull and you don't have a lot of natural lighting or you're crafting a lot at night, reasons like that are great reasons to invest in something like you know um, a bright pad or light box or maybe make a diy light box and things like that so that's a great question what's everyone's got going on in the comments um i'm so glad to be back to weeding on the mat yes. i feel so much more at home and i want to give my opinion because i know again now especially we're just kind of giving our honest opinion on things right <laughs> i would rather weed on the mat than use the bright pad true because like, you have to peel yeah. it up from the mat then you'd have to mask it down yeah onto the bright pad Listen. and even even glitter uh iron on that we say we need it for i would still just rather have my you know like two hands working yeah. on the mat can you show the second camera so i can show weeding printable iron vinyl for anyone but yeah. continue with your thoughts i think it's great um, that's basically it yeah. i'd just rather weed on the mat personal yeah, preference so and everybody's look. freaking out on the comments because well they're not freaking out they're actually being amazing because there was a troll don't worry guys i blocked them but wow. people were coming to our rescue like wow. why so rude i think you're <laughs> lost i, yeah, think, I think you're funny. lost yeah, lord lord knows our community is only the best community so if it's they're true. if they're being mean they got a scoot scoot true. but guys this is you're done you just now get to use transfer tape to transfer this image over and this is beautiful. If you love this piece of art, you're going to love our membership. These are things that we can provide for you in our membership that you cannot get anywhere else. I know a lot of people is like, Tanner, you can get artwork literally all over the internet and things. You can get free SVGs. You're not going to be able to get images like this for free. You're not going to be able to get fonts. You're not going to be able to get all the value we have from our training videos to our you know member only videos to our member only Facebook group. I mean, there's so much value and with the 20% off for National Craft Month is a great time to join. And Mika or Mecca, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Um, it's good to have you here, Mika Jackson. Hey. She says, I think I'm going to join because I love that you guys are down for saving money. And we all, Listen, we, we talk about it all oh. the time, especially right before the summit. And this <laughs> one, this one is a good one. A summit ticket was like $107 when it was on sale. $147. $147 when it was um, like right before the summit. And we still wanted to encourage you guys to go ahead and get your seats because after after the summit, we we still offer all the classes at the summit, but they're $47 a piece. And there's 10 classes at the summit. And there's 10 classes at the summit. And so that adds we up totally quick. understand the people that don't even want to deal with the rest of the classes who only want one. That's why we do offer the classes separately for that price. But we really encourage you guys because it's such a money saver. And if you had a ticket, you got entered to win a bunch of awesome giveaways and yeah, prizes. Which but, we're announcing this week. So yes. if you have a ticket, that email will be out soon. So stay tuned. We're getting all the classes um, organized for you guys to enjoy the HD recordings. And we'll be giving you details on our fall summit soon. But in addition to just cricket stuff, we're all about saving you money. We are. We really I want don't. you guys to get the best value for the best best bang for your buck. I tell Rachel all the time, I think it's a shame that there are a lot of like people in our niche, in our community, that are just like telling you guys to buy, 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 especially because a lot of their content ends up being buy this, buy this, and they're never sharing actual craft projects. They're just telling you to buy mystery boxes, and the sad thing is, it ends up being that they're just selling mystery boxes and they're not even sharing things for you guys to do with it. So that just really And I got you the alcohol me. if you wanted to wipe that off. Ooh, let's do that. So we love cleaning our surfaces. This is a mixed surface. Like, we can't tell. It's not wood, believe it or not. Better safe than sorry, though. <laughs> yeah, so Rachel made me this pump bottle if you're brand new. And we just get to clean off our surface of any residue. It makes it so much better to apply 
um, everything to it. So we're just going to quickly wipe it off and then dry it off and let it sit for a second or two. Um, it's perfect for all of your surfaces. And whenever you're ready, we do have a ton of questions. Well, then let's answer these questions because this is a great it. time all this draws. Okay, Tanner, do you have to leave the bleed on to make an intricate cut? This is very intricate and I left bleed on. Bleed is only going to bleed on the places that you are going to be removing and weeding um, off because, I wish I could have saved it to show you, but it's going to just print a little extra in case that the Cricut's just a hair off, you will not catch that. Yeah. That is what we call bleed. A lot of people get confused when you have intricate images. Like if you look at it, there's some really intricate prints here. And it only leaves bleed on in this certain place. Ooh, you can tell at the edge of the uh, some of the greenery how it's a little bit lighter, but you can still see a little um, border around it. Yes. That is bleed. And we yes. love bleed because so, it doesn't it doesn't like ruin your project, even though, no, you know. No, not at all. Yeah, not it's at great. All, not it's at all. Great. So we love it. So I'm going to also, since we are here, go ahead and add transfer tape to this. Now, we've been talking about um, masking tape, transfer tape. Let me show you the difference. I may, you know what, Rachel? I think the masking tape, transfer tape is more economical. But, yeah. Should we use it? I feel like Let's, we should. We use both. Yeah. Okay, this is masking tape. It's literally just a, a fat roll of masking tape. That's it's crazy. It it's crazy, crazy. Um, Anti Tay is all about it. So that means I had to test it. And now I'm kind of all about it. It's really easy to use. So you just kind of put it down on your project. And uh, let's see here. Uh, Brenda says, is your membership through Cricut? No, it's an independent membership um, that is not affiliated with any um, die cutting company. Um, we love Cricut, but no, this is an independent membership. This is not access. This is not anything like that. Um, that's how we're able to, you know, provide these videos to you. And that's the number one way to support what we do here is um, become a member. That's the number one way that we're going to be able to give you honest opinions and, you know, be able to share with you guys exactly um, the best tips. And that's what supports everything we do here. So um, we really appreciate all of our members watching and hanging out. I'm sure lots of them are in the comments. So, oh, hey guys. Lots of them, yes. We have over 200 viewers. Well, right hey. Now. So, we do have a lot of comments pouring in. Great. What are some other questions? Okay, Alicia says Speaking of tips, uh, what would you recommend, either vinyl or iron on, for adding fonts to a textured makeup bag? Ooh, fonts to a textured makeup bag. I think it really depends on the makeup bag, like it does. what material the makeup bag is. Definitely. I would so either let us know. You can be a little more specific, Alicia, if you want to tell us exactly what type of uh, makeup bag you got. If it's any type of cloth or fabric or anything like that, iron on all the way. Wouldn't you agree, Tanner? Oh, for sure. But if it's um, if it if it's plastic or you know silicone or anything like that, I have seen those type of makeup bags. Yeah, you could also use Cricut to make a stencil. So that could be a great option for you if you feel like um, HTV is not going to work for that project. Um, that would be fantastic. So, okay, we're positioning this down here. You want to do that one first? Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and lay this down. And, and what is your a printer again? It's the Canon TS8120. So that's the Canon. Do you want to top that out in the comments too for everyone sure. asking? Thanks, Rach. Um, it's the Canon TS8120. I have laid down my image and we're just going to burnish this on. Now, a viewer left me a very sweet Facebook message saying, Tanner, you're using a Cricut scraper tool. When you're transferring, you may want to get one of the yellow, like actual ones made for vinyl. Um, so that's something I really want to test, Rach. Well, and told people you. comment all the time because we're, we never use a brayer. Oh. We have them. We just do not use them. Right, right. I feel like, here's the thing. If we've made it thing. this long. I feel like, why have... Can you switch to the second camera? I'm yeah. Sorry. Why have like 50 different tools that all do something different if you can have 10 tools that do multiple things? Yeah. You know, it's all about simplicity here. It's like the Teflon I don't, sheet. Exactly like the Teflon sheet. I don't want to fill our table with like 20 different things that we're like, you guys need to buy this in order to have a successful project. Me and Tanner are all about minimalist. Minimalist. Yeah. We're like, this scraper, maybe it's not particularly used for this, but you totally can. Yeah, so this scraper does a lot, and there's a lot of different tools out there that you can use if you would like. 
Yeah. Um, for every task, as a lot of things are. And uh, will it still cut intricately if bleed is not on? Um, yes, it will, but then you run the risk of your Cricut being a hair off, and you're going to notice it when you have it cut and there's a white part. So I recommend being able to leave bleed on. There's and some reasons that you may would not want to, but in the most part, for the most part, I will leave bleed on. What is a registration mark? That is what you was able to see when you um, printed it. It prints this right here. The black, this black. square is the registration mark. Yes, yeah, the black square is what you will be using. It so. allows your Cricut to start. Uh, what it, it's not sensing. What's the word? It Scan. um, scans it. Yeah. yeah. So your it knows exactly where to cut. It. So it starts at the lines, and your printer scans it. So any print cut oh. project will have those. It needs Look those. at our flowers. Beautiful. So now we're able to move right along to our quote of the day. And I love this. And Melanie says, can you just purchase tickets for only the classes you want to participate in during the summit? So that's a great question. You are able to, but those classes are $47 a pop. So Rachel, you would only have to purchase three classes to pay for the price of all the 10. ticket exactly. if you're a member. Yeah. So why would you not want to take all 10 for the spend price, less money, spend less and money and content. get more value. Yes, yeah, that's, yeah. we're all about that, guys. We were just yeah. talking about saving you all some money. And Miss um, Patricia, hey, I'm Patricia. so excited for Miss Patricia. <gasps> hey, she Patricia. says, Rachel, I'm working on my felt leaves right now Aww. to make the wreath that you made during Yay. the summit while listening and watching. Well, Patricia, that's it. good. Please, if you are a member, which I'm, she I'm, is, I'm yeah, yes. she has to. Please put your uh, finished pictures in, in the, the group. Facebook group. Yes, I love. So many all people those. are recreating Rachel's wreath, and guys, the members have the cut falls, so that's wonderful to make that. So it's a great spin on things that you've not been able to see before. <gasps> and then look, how easy was this project? Let me see. The wrong way. <laughs> how awesome i love 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 this project how adorable you can see here in our finished one we've added two little hooks with these right here um just on the sides um you can do that if you want it's super easy it did split this but you can use smaller ones or you can just add some type of hook on the back um but yeah you can make it to where it hangs a little bit more nautical um, look but we love it and it's so much fun to recreate this project whichever way you decide to I love the greenery I love it it's all so of the, awesome the, all the floral patterns especially in this collection yeah. it's like they were taken up a notch and I can't wait to use oh them yeah I mean we definitely you know added that and gave it some extra value so it's super super fun um, so I love, love, love that. And we do have a bunch of questions piling Great. up as usual. Well, let's n let's, let's answer let these know. questions. Yeah. Yep. I don't want to overwhelm you, Taylor. Never. So it's like we're going we to are take a break. here. Yes, right, we are here. Right. Okay. Susan says, is a yearly membership charged? Uh, Twelve nine on each month or all at once? That's a great question. So our annual members, the reason why you get that economical value and you get all the bonuses is that it's a one-time fee every 12 months. So that's a great question. It is billed annually. Um, if you are not able to you know, commit to that right now, feel free to enjoy the monthly membership. But just note, you do not get access to the $150 worth of training courses or the access to the $100 of value with our fonts. So monthly members get access to our Facebook group, our projects, our, all of our cut files that you've seen today, um, and it's really awesome either way you go. But if you want that lower discount across the year and all that extra value, um, it's a great deal. Um, so I highly recommend you guys take advantage of it with just all that we have to offer um, in that tier. And okay, especially for twenty like, percent off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're a if you are a, like a monthly, monthly member and would like to upgrade, yeah, upgrade. Great time to take advantage yeah. of that as well. The first link down below. Because you still get grandfathered in if you upgrade. Yes. So definitely yes. do that. And we have three or four different questions just about the circle. So I'll ask them all. They're okay. all easy to answer. So um, let's see here. Where do we get it? Can we show the tag number? And is it a very flat and smooth? It is very flat and smooth. There is texture though. So yes, flat and smooth, but there's still texture. This was found at Michael's and we do not have the skew. It comes in a pack 
on how it's like the table set wear. Yeah, so like the, um, es uh, the skew was like on the plastic. Plastic, that and it you up. get like four of these. They're to style tables, but I love using them as decor. Yeah. Um, so you can style it in different ways. You can definitely find these at Michael's. Um, take a screenshot if you'd like of this, if you want to jump to the second camera, just so you can show you know, your representative at Michael's and be like, hey, I heard these were there. You know, they're in the table setting decor area. Um, where would these be at? They're great. They're whitewashed. They're super fun. So, you know, skew, sadly. But then you get like a pack. So you get a few. So we like that. So yeah, what other questions? Uh, let's see here. When using HTV on print and cut image, do you need to mirror it? Um, no, but the ch like all of the iron-on printable vinyl we've used, you have not had to mirror it, um, but that could be different per yours. Please read the instructions on your individual printable heat transfer vinyl. Yes, but I, I mean, if you think about it, if it's printable, I'm going to say no because yeah. it can't go like beneath the no. transfer paper to print. Right. But that's why me and Tanner do not say yes or no 100% because there could be a brand <laughs> out there. You never know. Yeah, there could you be a wild know. brand out there that's like, yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, you never know. Okay, um, is it normal for the back to come off or is that just the masking tape? Um, The back to come off. I, th I think they mean like when you were transferring it on. Oh, okay. Maybe when you were... Or maybe when you flipped it around and you were peeling it, because you know a lot of people yeah. don't do it that way. How yeah, we, we love to do. We love to go with gravity, so you just want to be careful with it. Sometimes it could cut really well, so it does come through. Um, like you can see some of these cut marks. Uh, maybe they're talking about this, Rachel. Um, this so. is kind of normal. Uh, you just want to be careful. That's a fresh blade, guys. This is that's a fresh exactly blade. Exactly what I was talking. This about. is what Rachel was talking about. Yep. That's so exactly yeah, what I'm that's kind of normal. That's pretty normal. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> it's not too bad. Say, not too yeah. bad. Not bad at all. So it's super fun. Um, but yeah, so we have so much fun. But we really want to encourage you guys, if you have not got to take advantage of 20% off, please, please, please take advantage of it. Get that year membership. Because what we haven't even talked about is that you say yes to a year today. Guys, you're going to get all of our awesome files that we've had over the past year, our whole library today. But that year membership is going to last another 365 days. Every single month, we are releasing new artwork, which you're going to get to take part in and make your projects and share in the community, ask your questions. We're going to have even more fonts. We have even more printable guides. So saying yes to a membership today is actually saying yes to thousands of extra bonuses with the files and the fonts. And all the extra enjoy. stuff that Tanner throws your way that's not even close have, to being scheduled. We have some awesome bonuses that I'm super excited to keep in store. So it's a really great community for you guys to take part in and we've made sure it's one of the best values on the market when it comes to education as well as cut files and the experience for you guys. So And value. Just, oh, it, the value. It's, guys, it's, and yeah. I know that all of our members love to say in the comments, but it's worth every penny, especially with, if you're a yearly member, you get those e-courses that are literally worth the cost of the yeah, membership. And the free commercial license where you can make your money back and then tons more if mm -hmm. that's the way you want to go. It's amazing. Exactly. And we do have a lot more questions if you care to answer All right, them. let's do it. Okie dokie. Is the quote cut out of regular vinyl? Yes, it sure is just regular black vinyl. If you can see here, if you want to show the difference, one is iron on. This right here is iron-on, this right here is vinyl. So iron-on, vinyl, iron-on, vinyl. I personally prefer the vinyl because it is textured, so you don't even want to have to worry about that issue and any warping. So yeah, stick with vinyl for that. It's super easy. And uh, let's see here. Uh, Tanya found hey, Tanya. the art mines, the, <gasps> the skew. So she's got that down there. Thank you so much, yes. Tanya, for being an MVP. She's on it. Girl! Um, and then let's see, what is the regular monthly yearly cost that is a great question so regular monthly wait regular she said m monthly yearly awesome great 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 question maybe so maybe she meant just like both I'll, I'll give you both um so normally a monthly membership without 20 percent is 19.99 a month billed monthly um and then regular price for yearly is 15.99 a month times 12. so right now you can get a year membership for $12.99 per month times 12 versus being a monthly member, um, you know, you're getting those three months and 20% off. So, and you get grandfathered in at that rate. I know it's a little confusing. 
especially without visuals. I can share with you guys visuals if you'd like. I feel like it's not necessary because we already went over it, but maybe there's some new people tuning in. I don't know. Yeah, and we did have two or three questions about uh, my summit class. Ooh, Rachel's summit class. If you have questions, be sure to email us and we can give you in direct answers. But yeah. yeah, answer these questions, Rachel. Yeah, a very broad question broad that question. we can answer okay. is, will the Explore Air 2 cut felt? That's a great question. Depending on the type of felt you're cutting, I would rather recommend the Maker's Rotary Blade is a lot more consistent when it comes to cutting it felt. Is. And the Cricut can cut 10 times the pressure. Yeah, the so Maker. The Maker. The, yeah, I mean, um, so I just said the Cricut. It's okay. And Rachel, what I love about Rachel's class is she actually used inexpensive craft store felt. I did. So we didn't use anything no. that you couldn't find. It wasn't by the yard. It wasn't anything. It was 33 cents a sheet, guys. Exactly. And she made an elegant, elegant, elegant wreath um, that I love. So you guys will love it too if you have a summit ticket you're going to enjoy that class and let's see here um hang on oh okay. where do we live where do we live we are in the um, right outside of knoxville tennessee in the east tennessee area that was chastity um, asked chastity well. we love tennessee you should come visit us um we love it but yes and i think question. that's it i think we've got them all I'm wonderful so well we've guys had like right we around 200 so awesome people Yay. this whole live stream and you guys have been wonderful. asking some amazing questions well rachel last but not least i'm going to share with you guys one more time the membership if you guys want to join because we'd love to have you so if you want to drop that link that would be awesome rach um for everyone curious but here you know if you want to join you can click this first link right in the description with the confetti and open that up. Rachel just listed it in the comments. Now it's a great time after you've seen us get crafty and answer all of your questions. I think it's a great, ooh, it's a great testament to the membership. Um, you can join now for 20% off. It ends Friday, so I would act soon. Um, if you want that year bundle right to get the best value, press the blue button. But you can also scroll down, read more about our member benefits, as well as check out the, the visual of the 20% off already monthly tiers. So what I was explaining was this is normally $19.99 a month. This is normally $15.99 a month. And six months is normally $17.99 a month. And just to be super transparent, guys, the like if you looked at a ratio of our monthly, six-month, and yearly members, I would say 70% or more are yearly members. Just because we had so much jam-packed into this tier, um, we want to make it that best value for you so that you're able to not have to worry about it in your monthly budget. Um, you're getting lots of bonuses. You're getting that economical three months free compared to being monthly. You pick your tier. You can subscribe using a credit or debit card with the gray button. Or if you have a PayPal account already, click the yellow button. So that's the spiel. We had so much fun getting crafty today. What a great project. You're going to have so much fun making it yourself. So be sure to enjoy. And we are super excited. So any last minute questions? Oh, yeah. They're still rolling Yay! in. What's going on? So um, let me see here. Hang on. Oh, Chastity used to live in Knoxville, so she's wondering. I love wondering. Knoxville. Yeah, she's moving back, so Come she's going to be super Girl! close to us. I love it. I was in Knoxville today. <laughs> yes. And uh, let's see here. Can you use the Easy Press on a paper bag? <gasps> yes, you can. You can use we Easy Press on all kinds of stuff. We love using heat transfer vinyl on all kinds of things. And Diana says, can you put iron on vinyl on top of iron on vinyl on a t-shirt? Iron on vinyl. I don't know. Again, check the instructions on your own brand. It gets tricky when you start layering. It does iron get on, tricky. It does, especially if you're layering brand. iron on. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know a case that you should have to. Right. So right. that's that's something I'm go. My follow up question would be, why would you want to? Oh, that's a because good follow up you can, question. You can slice out and you can flatten iron on right. and images in Cricut Design Space to make it one flush layer, yeah. which I think would solve your issue and give you a longer lasting project. Yeah. And that is what I love about being able to live stream and answer questions. And Cause I out. definitely, I definitely can vouch for if you do layer it yes. and you throw it in the wash, it's not going to stick to itself as well as it's right, going right, to adhere right, right. to that t-shirt. Exactly. And uh, let's see, when does your sale end on the membership? It ends Friday. So the 15th of March, you need to take advantage you of it. Two You've days. got two days left. It is the 13th. You have tomorrow and Friday, but you want to get the membership sooner rather than later so you can start crafting with this new spring Easter collection because the falls are amazing. And where can I find Rachel's video on reverse weeding? Ooh, is that video out yet? I don't even know. I don't think so, but don't I, think we, so. you may have, did oh, you talk about coming. it in the vinyl? Yeah, I did, but packs? it's coming. Yeah, we have an individual video that's coming out. It's so done. It's, it's ready done. to be. It's ready to come out. To yeah, you guys, so, so get excited. And then Dawn says, "Where did you get the great craft table Ooh, banner?" Uh, IKEA. It is the crank 
a standing desk. I'm too cheap to spend the money on the uh, automatic one. So I have the Crank IKEA standing desk with the largest white tabletop they make. As you can see, we can fit a lot of junk on here. So and it's we, fantastic. And we've got too many cords anyways. I would hate to plug up a table, I don't want to have to worry about it. I just yeah. don't want to have to worry yeah, about it. And Flatten mind. is only for print and cut. So Flatten is when you take any image. It can be a cut image. It can be a draw image and turn it into Flatten. And then when you flatten it, that means you turn it into a print and cut. So yes, it is only turning regular images into print and cut. Hope that makes sense. Try it out for yourself. And if you have the Cricut printable guide, there's been lots of things about registration marks and flatten and things like that, that we answer in this guide. So if you are a member, please download it, read it. It's great. If you're not a member, one of amazing reasons why, because we have the term glossary that explains registration marks, which let me read you. Marks created on a printed image and read by the Cricut machine to ensure it is aligned and cut accurately. Couldn't have said it better Couldn't myself. Couldn't have said it better myself. Things like that are found in the printable guide, and that's why you need it, because when you're in design space, I don't know about you guys, I use this all the time, um, but it's really great. It is good. Oh my gosh. And Claire says, has the Summit videos been released yet? No, we'll be releasing that very soon. We are getting all those uploaded and organized for you guys to enjoy, so get excited. And again, thanks guys for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it, and I hope you have a fantastic Crafty Wednesday. We will see you back here tomorrow morning. Bye, guys.